Hey everyone, so I want to make an update on my story time. Um, I know that I kind of like stopped in December and I wanted to start back up in January, but unfortunately things happen, people get sick, um, people have issues, I, I don't know, like <laughs> just with my whole entire um, little break. I had to deal with stuff and then I had to deal with stuff in January and I'm still dealing with stuff, but I'm going to try my best to make the video. So again, like I said, next week is pretty much the week that I'm going to be starting. Oh, this is kind of cute. I didn't even realize now they have um, address instead of like the rooms. I mean, if you actually click onto it, you'll see the rooms, but um, you'll see the, you'll see the address instead, but anyways, I want to make this video longer, but I know that, <laughs> uh, I really don't have anything else to talk about. I mean, I guess I could talk about what I think about the whole entire situation. I will be saying it in the, um, in the video to come, but it was really funny for me because when we had actually, me and my ex had broken up, um, we kind of like <laughs> basically went our separate ways. And I mean, like, I know where he is. I can, you know, he's on my friends list and everything for my Facebook. Um, but it's funny because in the quote divorce he pretty much got all the friends so in the end i was kind of like the one that was i don't know displaced left out whatever but the problem is is that no one just nobody thought to themselves okay um when we first were getting together that i was you know, roughly around 14 years old and he's in his 20s, you know, that doesn't seem really odd to you. And then on top of all that, um, when I hit 16 or so, he, I know, like, he brought, and, and I didn't get to that, but I'm going to get to that. Anyways, I, well, I think I didn't. I don't remember the last thing I said, honestly. And I have to go over what, what was the last video. But when he broke up with me, it was okay. It was fine, you know. But when I broke up with him, um, everybody was kind of like, ee, like looking at me. When he got with somebody, it was okay. But then when I got with someone, it was like frowned upon. So... And I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, when I had gotten with my now um, significant other, um, basically, my ex and I, we were on the rocks. I don't even think we were together because what had happened was, was that we split and we just, we never really mended we just got back together, like, as in, like, friends with benefits, you know what I'm saying? And I remember clearly being at work, and it was around Valentine's Day, and he was, and he sent me, like, this bear, and he pretty much said in the letter... I hope we can get past this and we can fix our relationship. Um, but he really didn't, he did not, um, kind of tell me that we were in a relationship. He just made it so that I would have to assume. While he was with his girlfriend, he kept stringing me along. Well, not really stringing me along because I knew eventually that he was going to get back with me. But he kept me under his wing. He kept me as that side piece 
which I felt was incredibly wrong. I mean, I was stupid and young and I really was quite in love with him. If he would have just let me go and do what I had to do, then maybe, just maybe, I would have had other, and I, I wouldn't say relationships, but I would have been like better off. I think we would have been better off. And when his, um, when his then significant other, which was like the girl that he basically decided to jump ship and go straight for her, when it came down to me, um, when, when she had told me that I should not contact them anymore, I felt like it was an attack. And it kind of was, to be honest, it really was an attack on her, but not on her, but on me. Um, I'm sorry about all the ums. I'm just trying to like get all my words out there. And it's, it, it, it's a long time ago. So yeah. The thing is, is she, she told me that without good intention. It was for her. That intention was for her because at that time, um, they had already had their first child. Uh, so I was like, well, now he's with her and now he has a child and now they're pretty much solidified. In my mind, they were solidified. So then he broke up with her and then he started living with my parents and then, which was weird. And then I was basically kicked out of my situation, which again, like I said, all of this is going to be said in the videos to come. So there was no way that I, I was able to get around it. I had to go back to my parents because I had nowhere else to go. And that is another reason why I'm so confused about, and this is... I'm going to be, I'm going to be saying this, uh, I'm, I was so confused with my mother and I'm still so confused. I was honestly going to give names, but I don't, I don't think I will. And out of all this, uh, I was still friends with their, with, his, with our friends, basically because I feel like he was the one that dumped me and I wasn't the one that dumped him. You know what I'm saying? You're probably thinking, wow, you rep repeat a lot of things. And I mean, I repeat a lot of things because I realize that a lot of people, they when they hear it one time, hear it two times, hear it three times, they just don't. It's not that they don't get it. It's just that it doesn't, it doesn't hit them just in that moment, so... If I repeat myself, I apologize. And I'm letting you know that in this video, for videos to come and for past videos. Because I've had a video where I've said something one time and then people just jump right over that and they'll just go for what they want to hear. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um... Yeah, she basically told me to stay away, and I honestly should have, but I couldn't because of my situation. So after I moved back in with my parents, he moved in with my parents, which was a terrible idea because it wasn't like a house. It was more like a railroad apartment. We had no room. We had no space. We had like one very small room that was kind of like a walk-in closet. We had a, um, we had another small room, but it wasn't a small, small room. It was like a regular size room, but it was, again, this was a railroad apartment, which means you could go from room to room to room to room, um, and there's no, there's really no privacy Unless you're in the end room. In which case, that's all the privacy you're going to get. 
So once I started living back with my parents, and once he lived with my parents, then the relationship happened again. And honestly, I should have probably not gone back with my parents, but again, like I said, I was young, stupid, and they were my parents. So basically, in a nutshell, it was all stupid decisions on my part, uh, stupid decisions on my mother's part, um, and unfortunate events going on with me. I'm not going to say again that I'm innocent by all means. Um, what I will say is that for him, it was, it wasn't even a thing. Like he lost, he lost me, but he didn't lose anything else. I basically lost everything. I lost my friends. I lost, well, I mean, I didn't lose my family, but I mean, once I moved here, I kind of lost my family because of the way they are. So, I mean, if you are going through like a breakup and you know that you're going to be losing a lot, family, friends, whatever, like items, things like that. I know that I, when I had, when we had broken up uh, for like the, I think it was like the third time or the second time or something like that, um, I, I had an apartment with him and I basically like put a whole lot of money into the apartment and um, I left. I was the one who left because um, he was the one that had a job, his uh sister was the one that had a job and her boyfriend had a job and I didn't um or no no I did have a job but I didn't have enough money coming to me because I wasn't making a lot and I remember when we would go out he would during that time this was another reason why we broke up because when we would go out like we went to the mall I'm going to give you a for example. We went to a mall and I basically, I, he know, I, he knew I didn't have any money. Um, but he also knew that I worked my bum off. Like I went to school. I, I did two jobs. Like he knew that I was really struggling and I was trying to keep myself afloat and I was trying to pay rent and I was trying to do all this stuff. And I basically had, again, like I said, no money. And as a couple, we were supposed to be holding one another down. And he didn't want to do that. And do you know why he didn't want to do that? He didn't want to do it because I was, and he knew this. Um, I'm not saying I had PTSD or anything like that. But I was still very much not into having sex and he would want it like he would always want it and I'm just like my goodness just because I deny you of having sexual relations with me does not mean that you could be some sort of mean person so we went to the mall and this was when he was really pissed off. Like he, at, when we left to go to the mall, he, he looked at me, he gave me this really mean face and he was just like, I am not buying anything for you. You are not getting anything from me because you don't give me anything. And that was it. And that relationship I felt like wasn't, a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, if you're really going to do that and you know that I have an issue because of my past, why would you be so mean about it? 
He knew that. And when I finally did kind of like say goodbye to him, which again, like I said, all this is going to be in the next video, so you don't have to watch this video if you want to see the other video. But um, he, he pretty much talked about his new girlfriend because his new girlfriend was a girl that I knew she had a crush on him. I knew that she liked him. I knew she wanted to get with him. It was like one of those things where I just, I realized that he wanted it her too. So when I mentioned it, he basically turned around and told me, well, at least she was a virgin. I know some people are probably like, oh, savage. Yep. Yep. That, that could probably be savage, you know? So that was our little relationship in a nutshell. Um, but there, it was like, there were happy moments, there were sad moments, there were tragic moments. And I mean, I believe that there were more happy moments than there were sad moments or tragic moments. But in all, I feel like I really, <laughs> I shouldn't have been in that relationship because, mm-mm. It wasn't healthy, and I was, I was just way too young. I was groomed. That was it. I was groomed. Um, because, again, uh, I met him at 14. To, we started dating at 14. Um, and then once we broke up, you know, he kept me around, and we kept doing that stuff. Like, we kept having sex, even though he broke up with me. So, it didn't stop. Like, the sexual relationship didn't stop. So, I don't even understand why he even broke up with me in the first place. But again, I believe... I mean, I don't understand, but I really... I have a... a sort of an idea of why he did and I believe that when he met this girl he was just trying to make it so that my age he wanted to use my age as a reason for him to just break up with me so I still feel like he was wrong and whatever but what are you gonna do anyways so Thank you for watching. This was more than uh, the time that I figured, which was about like five minutes. I figured, honestly, I would have just started talking. And then when I started talking and talking and talking, I just never stopped. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I will be making the video next or I will be uh, uploading the video next week. So thanks again. Take care. Bye.